Jake Schwartz here again, AAC the Media Day, just wrapping up on the men's side. Women's uh, are just about to start as we're coming to you from Philadelphia Airport here at the uh, at the Philadelphia International Airport. And it's a pleasure to be joined by the commissioner of the AAC, Mike Orozco, actually on the men's side. How are you, Mike? Uh, great, Jake. Great to great have to you. Here. Great to see you, as always. Nice to see you. Tell us about what a great day this has been so far. And, uh, we listened to your speech. New coaches uh, on the horizon, five years now in the making for AAC basketball. Uh, tell us about uh, Fran Dumpy, uh, uh, Joe Dooley, uh, Penny Hardaway, and Dan Hurley have all entered. Fran Dumpy, of course, will be leaving. Well, we're going to hate to see Fran go because he's been such a, a class act. Uh, Fran is one of the great people of all time in college basketball or in any profession. He's a wonderful guy. We'll, we'll miss him, but we've got him another year. And uh, he'll always be part of our legacy. You know, they had two great teams. And he was our coach of the year twice. But we, we're getting uh, an infusion, you know, of, of great young coaches. Obviously, uh, you know, Dan Hurley and, and Penny Hardaway. And then Joe Dooley is, is more of a veteran. And Joe is going to rejuvenate the program in East Carolina. We're really thrilled uh, to have those. From top to bottom, Jake, this conference has great coaches. I've never been more optimistic about our basketball. You know, our first year we won the national championship. We had five teams That's in, right. the, in the top right. 25. Some, I believe it was. Who, who was that team? Yeah, <laughs> University of Connecticut. It was Connecticut. It was yes, Connecticut. Jim Calhoun, Monday. first year. Uh, no, uh, uh, Kevin Ollie. That's right. Uh, Kevin yes, yes and, it was. And, you know, it was a great year. Uh, we also had five teams in the top 25 that year at various times. But we haven't been in basketball as dominant as I thought we'd be. But now we are on the cusp of being a terrific, dynamic basketball conference. We're also going to be really good in women's basketball. Of course, we have the crown jewel in UConn. But we, um, you know, I'm just really pleased that we're finally there. Our football really progressed more rapidly than we thought it would. The conference is doing great. But I think basketball, I'm, I'm the most excited I've been on media day in a long time. You, you were um, working with the Big a long time, correct? A long time ago, yes. At yes. The very beginning. Now, how has that been going, transitioning over here to this new conference, the American Athletics? Well, this is our fifth anniversary, and it's been a spectacular five years. I must say, you know, we were in a lot of disarray back, but, uh, you know, we were hit by realignment. There were a lot of troubles, and we managed to not only survive, but thrive. And, and I think what you're seeing now yes. is um, a level of, of football, basketball, women's basketball, Olympic sports that no one thought we, we would reach, and I just couldn't be more pleased. Well, we are pleased to have you here on Voice of Reason, and you can also find this interview on Black Cajun Sports. Mike Oresco, the, the uh, former associate of the Big East, now the commissioner of the American Athletic Conference. Mike, congratulations on what's been a great media day, and you know we'll catch up with you. Jake Schwartz again with AAC Commissioner Mike Oresco. Thank you.